we're gonna be talking about mallets and drumsticks. Yes! So I have a bucket drum here and I'm going to be using this as my drum. I'm going to just show you a few things about this bucket drum, okay? I have what is a rubber mat of a circle. If you have a placemat, you could have a rag, or this is actually a cut up yoga mat when it fits my bucket so that it sounds a little nicer, right? Otherwise it's got that loud plastic sound. And so for you at home, using a plastic Tupperware, you can use the back of a chair with a sweatshirt over it. You can even use the floor, but usually it's good if you have something that you can use to um, sort of mute and soften the sound. You can even use the floor um, if you wanna hit the carpet. And then we have to talk about drumsticks. There's lots of different drumsticks. So if you're at home, chopsticks work, uh, wooden spoons that you might use and have in the kitchen for cooking. Um, and I'm using dowels. You can go to the hardware store and get a wooden dowel at about a half inch thickness and cut them to 12 inches, which is, or just use your wrist to your elbow. But that's what this dowel is. And then these are rhythm sticks that I use in the classroom sometimes. So I'm gonna use these yellow ones because they show up a little bit more in this video. And as you can tell, I'm just gonna talk about mallets and how we hold them. This is a drumstick, right? A traditional one. And you can see that at the tip, it has a narrow, um, almost like a bead at the tip. That is because when you are drumming on a drumstick, that little bowel helps you bounce. And so for bucket drums with this, it can do that, but I can also still do that with my dowel. Um, the other kind of mallets that are fun to try are, here's one that a student of mine made. We used a rhythm stick and some duct tape and fabric. It gave us a nice bass drum sound, right? It's a little different sounding. So if I set up a bunch of bucket drums, I could have different textures. But they sound, they. They have a whole nother texture. So a lot of times, even though you might have a one drum, you can have multiple drum sounds by just changing the tool that you're using. And drummers, uh, myself included, even though I'm a percussionist, meaning I use more hand drums and, and lots of different kinds of drums, I like to have mallets that have different sounds. And you might even see um, drummers take pieces of a broom and use those as a sound or different kinds of textures. So at home, you can experiment with that. Even a big square or round Tupperware, the sound will change depending on what kind of mallet or stick you're using. So I encourage you to go and see how many different sounds you can make even out of a plastic Tupperware or a box. Okay, so then we're going to get to no matter what mallet you are using, you're going to want to know how to hold that mallet. So the thing about holding drumsticks is I call, I, you don't ever want to hold it in your fist like that. I call that kind of the cave woman style. <laughs> the best thing I like to do is just put it between your thumb and your, and the tip of your finger like this. And you can see you have a line on your finger, right? That line, that's a good spot to, to hold it. And then I want the rest of my fingers to just wrap around. So I call this the thumbs up method, right? My thumb should be up on the drumstick. Then I've got my fingers and I can use my wrist and I have my fingers, it's like a hinge. So I have a lot more what's called dexterity and flexibility here with the drumstick. So that's how we're gonna do it. And you wanna make sure you're not holding it down at here so that your fingers don't have anything to grab. You want all your fingers lightly on the drumstick. So there is my thumbs up and my fingers here, okay? And so I also don't have them, right, held up here. So just kind of with about a little bit of an inch below. And that's gonna be how I hold my sticks, right? So that 
if I were to just click my sticks, it's very comfortable, okay? And we're gonna be focusing on um, rudiments, which are exercises for the bucket drum. And we're also gonna be using clicks, hitting the drum, and using the rim. So I think the first pattern that we're gonna learn on the bucket drum is we're gonna take our cup game that we did. Do you remember that cup game? Tap, 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 up, down, press, clap, clap, bounce, 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 over. We're gonna take that pattern and learn it on the bucket drum. Even if you didn't learn the cup pattern, you can still you learn this on the buckets. So I'll count us off, which is one, two, here we go. Click, click, tap, tap, tap. Let's try it one more time. Click, click, tap, tap, tap. Same thing, one more time. Click, click, tap, tap, tap. We're gonna do a little bit of a different perspective. Sometimes it can help you to see me from above. So. One, two, here we go. Clap, clap, tap, 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 clap, up, again. Clap, tap, 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 So just so you remember, that is this part. Okay? And even if you didn't see that video that I did in the last one, you still can just learn this pattern. Let's do it one more time. I'm gonna cycle it four times. One, two, here we go. Again. Now, when we did the cups, I had a whole thing where I marched the rest and I clapped, grabbed it, and we crossed it over. So that's not something we can do on the bucket. So we're gonna kind of mark the time. But we have our first half. So the second half is gonna be after this, clap, clap, tap, 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 clap, up, down. That's all. We're just gonna click, rim, click, rim, click, middle. Super slow. One, two, here we go. Click, rim, click, rim, click, again. So are you aware I'm clicking three times? I start that second half of the pattern with a click. So it's click, click, click. And it doesn't matter which way you start with. You start with your right or your left. It's up to you. But let's cycle that second half and do that four times as well, okay? One, two, here we go. Click, click, click. There you go, great. So now we have to put the two pieces together. Did you already forget the first half? Because that sometimes happens. So the first half is tap, tap, do you see that there was a pause in there i'm feeling the pause instead of marking it with the drumsticks so i'm going to play the whole pattern all together you can watch or you play along and then we'll do it together okay one two here we go so i really feel that rest in the middle if i were to mark it with my sticks I'll do that this time so you can see what that's like. One, two, here we go. Here it is where I mark the rest. Just a pause in the middle. And I think it's just nice to be able to feel that. So let's cycle it four times in a row. One, two, here we go. Again. 
last time. Good job. Okay, so that's something that you can do um, and just kind of practice. And then once you have it, you'll have it. So I'll do it with a slow tempo two times, and then we'll do it at a fast time tempo two times. Okay, one, two, ready, go. Click, click, tap, tap, tap. Click, rim, rim, and click, side, click, side, click, middle again. Click. Good. Now let's try it with a fast tempo. One, two, ready, go. So you can have fun with it and you can, if you want to anchor it a little bit, I'm just going to play a little bit so you can see me having some fun with it. Okay, so we're gonna talk about the different note values that are used in music. And for rhythm, this is really important because one of the larger note values is called a whole note. It means it takes up a whole measure. And so if we're in four four time, that means it takes up four beats. So if you were singing, you would hear la for four beats. But when we clap and do whole notes, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So that is gonna be our whole note. So why don't we try that again? I'll count us off. One, two, here we go. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. It really means you are responsible for counting as well. The next big note value that we're gonna do is called a half note. It means it takes up half the measure. So half of four beats is two beats. So a half note in four, four time is gonna be worth two beats. So we're gonna clap that as one, two, three, four. So we'll clap it every two beats. One, two, three, four. And you can mark that one, two, three, four but I tend to just know I'm gonna clap on the one and three. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So let's do that two times. One, two, here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The next note value that we're gonna do are quarter notes. So that means that there are four beats per measure every single pulse gets a clap. So just like there are four quarters in a dollar, you are gonna have four quarter notes per measure. So when we clap a quarter note, it's gonna sound like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So let's try that together. I'm gonna to give us a count off. One, two, here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So I like to do something that's called a call and response game and we're on a video. So you, I can't hear you do the response, but I'm going to mix up whole notes, half notes, and quarter notes. And let's see if you could give the call back to me and we're going to keep it in four, four time. So it'll be me first and then you clap the response. So the first one I'm going to do is one, two, three, four. That's your turn, and you would clap on one. One, two, three, four. You, two, three. That's not gonna work. Okay. Uh, so we can also mix up our, our beats. So if I were to do one half note with two quarter notes, it would sound like this. One, two, three, four. Or if I were to clap two quarter notes and then a half note, I would hear something like this. One, two, three, four. 
So a whole note takes up a whole measure. So we can't mix and match those, but we can mix and match half notes and our quarter notes, as long as we know that they equal four at the end. So this is where with rhythm, there is an association to math and fractions. But as long as we know just for our clapping, whole note, all four beats, half note, one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four. We know that a whole note takes up one whole measure, so we're gonna do that two times. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. We're gonna do the same thing with our half notes. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then the same thing with quarter notes, two measures worth. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So let's try that all together. One, two, here we go. One, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. So let's try that one more time. And remember, I'm going to start with whole notes. One, two, here we go. One, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. Great. And if you want to try different kinds of clapping, you know, I can get a higher pitch clap if I put my fingers together, but if I make like almost an X with my hands, I can get a different kind of clap. So you can experiment even with different sounds you can get from clapping. Deeper clap, higher pitch clap. Okay, so now we're gonna do the next note value, which is going to be called eighth notes. That's where we're gonna divide up our one, two, three, four, our quarter. Eighth notes, one and two and three and four, one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four, one and two and three and four. Eighth notes, one and two and three and four, one and two and three and four. So ready? One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So for this time, when we hit, try and use both hands. Make sure you're not just using everything with your strong hand, and you get to use both hands. The second part we're gonna do is we're gonna add the half notes and hit on one and three. So the first part we went one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now we're gonna go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So let's add that all together. One, two, here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so what's next? Quarter notes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, notice both hands. Let's add that to our whole notes, our half notes, and our quarter notes. One, two, here we go. One, two, three, four. 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 How'd that go? Let's try it one more time. One, two, ready, go. Right, we're ready for our eighth notes. So our eighth notes are going to look like this. One and two and three and four and. But you know, it's hard to play that and. So I'm gonna stop at four. So I'm gonna go like this. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. It'll make it a little bit cleaner, okay? So let's try that much. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. One, two, here we go. So let's add that to our series, starting with the whole notes. Are you ready? One, two, here we go. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two, three, four.
One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, notes. Is that when we do our triplet clap, it's going to be the pulse is here. One, two, three, four. Elephant, 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 oh. elephant, elephant, elephant. Mouse. One, two, three, four. One, two, here we go. Elephant, 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 mouse. Elephant, 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 mouse. So we're gonna go one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three. And a really simple way to remember that is also I think of the word elephant because elephant has three syllables. So elephant, elephant, elephant. And I'm gonna do the same thing I did with eighth notes where I'm gonna just stop on four. Elephant, 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 mouse. Elephant, 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 mouse. So beat four will be the mouse because elephants are scared of mouse, of mice. So it scares the elephant into stopping. And so that means that when we have come from one and two and three and four, one and two and three and four, the next one we're gonna do is elephant. Okay, so we'll get those triplets in there. Let's try that a couple of times. Are you ready? One, two, here we go. Elephant, 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 mouse. Elephant, 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 mouse. So three elephants and one mouse, okay? Let's put that all together in our series and see where we are, okay? One, two, starting with the whole notes. One, two, here we go. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. One, two, half notes. One, two, quarter notes coming. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Eighth notes. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and triplets. So that, this is our, our tempo marking. So one, two, one, two, here we go. One, two, three, four. 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 Okay, nicely done. So you can. Okay. After triplets, there's an, an eighth note. So there's also something called sixteenth notes. So that means we're going to divide each pulse into four beats per pulse. So here's our pulse: two, three, four. We would count that one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. So try and say that with me: one, two, here we go. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a one e and a. So four. So we'll end on four just like I did for triplets and the eighth notes. One, two, here we go. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four. So let's try and add that to our whole series of art with clapping, okay? So I'll do two, four beats, I'll do eight beats total. So we'll do the same thing. We'll, we'll so let's add the 16th notes to our series. So I'm gonna start with our whole notes. One, two, three, four, right? I'm gonna start with our whole notes and we'll end on the 16th note. So I'm gonna slow it down a little bit for you. One, two, here we go. 
One, two, three, four. 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 One, two, here come eight notes. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. Triplets. One, elephant, elephant, elephant mouse. Elephant, elephant, elephant mouse. Sixteenth notes. One E and a two E and a three E and a four. One E and a two E and a three E and a four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three half notes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three quarter notes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, five notes. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four triplets. Elephant, elephant, elephant mouse. Elephant, elephant, elephant mouse. Sixteenths. One e and a two e and a three e and a four. One e and a two e and a three e and a four. Let's put it all together. One, two, here we go, and whole notes. Here we go. So let's do that series from the whole notes with the bucket drums. Ready? One, two, one, two, here we go. One, two, three, four. 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 One, and two, and three, and four. One, and two. exists on any kind of cell phone device now. There are free apps, um, but anything that gives you this click, and this is a great thing to practice too, okay? So let's add that series now with the 16th notes, and we're gonna do our bucket drum pattern, the cup game. If one of these patterns is too hard for you, you can stop where it feels comfortable and add it however you would like, okay? One, two, here we go. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two, three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. One, two, and four. Okay, great. One, two, here we go. One, two, three, four. 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 We're going to learn the elbows on the table variation from the cut pattern in the next video. 
put that all together here. And then we're also gonna talk about an exercise doing paradiddles and, and two, playing two against three. So we'll talk a little bit about beginning to have independence with your drumming. See you then.